Now, it's being described as the biggest step forward in melanoma treatment in 30 years. Two drugs which can dramatically extend the lives of patients with the most serious form of skin cancer are to be made available on the NHS. Our health and social care correspondent, Victoria MacDonald, reports. Sandra Sace was at the Royal Marsden Hospital in London for a regular checkup, and everything was fine. But this was a woman who was told six years ago that her malignant melanoma had spread and that she had four months to live. The scans were showing that they were in the lungs and the liver and by then the spleen as well as, well as the central lymph nodes around the body. But Mrs Sace was also offered another choice to take part in a trial of a new drug. Pretty much immediately I noticed all the lesions, the visible lesions on the leg actually flattening because they got quite lumpy, lump, lumpy by that point um, so they were flattened and then they started to reduce. The drug is called ipilimumab and along with a second one also for malignant melanoma they represent the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of this otherwise fatal cancer for decades. There is actually a real air of excitement, especially here at the Royal Marsden, which worked on the trials for both of these drugs, because today the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence, otherwise known as NICE, has approved their use. And that means that for the first time they will both be available for all NHS patients who need them. The two drugs approved today work very differently. Vimorafenib blocks the effects of a cancer-causing mutated gene, BRAF. Half of those with melanoma that spread have this mutated gene. It has on average extended patients' lives by a year, though it is not a cure. For those without the mutant gene, there is the second drug, ipilimumab, which harnesses the body's own immune system to fight cancer. Patients are given four doses over three weeks. 46% survive for more than a year, and for some, it's been far longer. We were really excited when the science came out. We were just as excited, if not more, when the clinical results started to come through to show these benefits. And now, of course, it's a very special day and a special celebration because these two drugs are going to be available on the NHS for our NHS patients, and that's a tremendous step forward. And it's not often you hear doctors talking like that. But the need for a treatment is urgent. This is a cancer on the increase, and it disproportionately affects younger people, all because of sunbathing, burning at the beach or on sunbeds.